Hello everyone, today I have another game for you. This is Victor into Cassidon. Uh, this is taken from my stream, so if you hear a voice in the background, that is me from my stream. I stream most days on Twitch at 9 p.m. Eastern, so if you want to stop by, I would really appreciate it. We see the Gragas standing still in their jungle while our jungle invaded, jungler and top lane invaded, and they swept, I'm pretty sure, so I don't think they had vision of him. So we walk over, ward the bush so we have vision of it, and that's some free passive stacks. Really odd spot for the Gragas to stop moving. Coming around the backwards way and then waiting there, that feels like an odd spot. Generally, if you're gonna do that, I feel like you come through your jungle and then you ward the entrance. But oh well, at least we get a free kill out of it. This is a plat 1d4, d3 lobby around there. Having some fun dancing there. Cassidy into Victor. Cassidy, you generally don't have any kill pressure against him early. He just kind of, every time you queue him, he queues you. You just kind of trade shield for shield. But early on, you'll, you can poke him a little bit since he is melee. You can always auto attack him whenever he queues you since it's only a magic damage shield, not a full damage shield. Good laser. Also, I went phase rush in this matchup. I don't generally like Aerie into Cassidy. I feel like since you're not playing for a lane, and I'm pretty sure I also have Gathering Storm. Generally, when I go phase rush, I go Gathering Storm. Uh, and I feel like you aren't really playing for a lane in Cassidy, and you're playing for scaling, and you're gonna try and out team fight him or beat him in the side lanes. Your team fighting is better than him. Your side laning is generally not as good unless you can actually poke him out a good amount beforehand. You see the Yi invading, so we back up there, get some autos off, laser off on the Yi. We see our Kha'Zix there, so we try to trade with the Yi heavily to get him as low as possible for Kha'Zix. Uh, Yi potentially went in our jungle there. Most likely went in our jungle. I can't imagine another path he would take. I walk with him. We all collapse. We don't see him here. He could be in the bush. I check it. He's not. Where did he go? He's Houdini. Uh, he could be waiting in that brush there by raptors. I didn't check that one. Kassadin's walking up to me. Yeah, he was he was there. I don't have gravity field yet, so I flash immediately. My Kha'Zix and Jax run that way. Uh, it's still okay. I have TP, so it's not the end of the world. Then I get some more passive stacks. I guess I should have run up to them. I guess that's both like both of us had a different idea going on. I was trying to run to them because they were doing red buff, and then I... They tried to run around because I was going for that way. In hindsight, I should have laser checked the raptor bush and then just pinged my teammates to check that far bush. Uh, but that's okay. We still get some passive stacks on off it. We're very close to our laser upgrade already. Still not four. We're like one XP away, so we don't generally want to fight this. Kha'Zix gets the... Uh, Kha'Zix has to scuttle, but we just back off here. I don't have flash. Just at four now, so if they go on me, I do have gravity field. Waiting to see Gregus body slam animation start before I go for it, or Yida Alpha to me before I do it. Okay, so waves in a, not a great spot for us, but it's not that bad considering we're very, very close to our upgrade, getting both of those assists, and actually helping our jungler by rotating to those plays. Guess I don't have to actually. Victor's a very weak pre-6 champion, so it's not generally great to help uh, with early roams, but their team is worse than ours. Cassidy and Yi being double melee, and Yi generally needs items to be super, super relevant. Cassidy for sure needs 6 to be relevant. And Yi just auto attack, alpha strike, doesn't do a crazy amount of damage early. Jungler most likely in our red side there. Yep, we took it there. You see him for a split second back in their blue side there. The wave's coming back into me now, which is really nice. Rotate down. The wave is coming into me. It's not going to crash to tower here, so it's fine for me to rotate. I get seen on the Squire Bloom. The support, I think, hit it. And so I just back off. Try to thin the wave so I don't let it crash to tower. The wave's in. This is a very, very good wave state for me right now. Cassidy, since he's a melee champion, it's very awkward for him to step up if a wave is in front of my tower but not in tower range. So it puts him in a very, very awkward situation for ganks and makes it very difficult for him to play. I shouldn't let this crush. What am I doing? No! 
No, I should have gravity fielded that wave and not let it crash the tower. <clears throat> we've been roaming, we've been fighting in Yeah, that wasn't good. I'm CSing decently though, I guess. But yeah, that was an incorrect play in my opinion. I have this XP lead <clears throat> I have this XP lead over him. So if I had a freeze there on that wave. Even though he's 6th now, he's still very, very gankable. How remarkable I think I might have to ult to shove this wave to the tower. I think I should ult the wave. This is looking a little awkward for me. I don't have flash. Cassidy's going in on me. I have laser upgrade now, though. I think I should have ult shoved that tower, shoved that under tower and then recalled for... <clears throat> I don't quite have enough for lost chapter right now. But if I got all the CS, I would have. With Futures Market. Cassidy is doing Drake. We rotate down, grab fruit, help him out a little bit. Cassidy and Mia most likely recalling. Even if Cassidy is. Oh, we seem top lane, never mind. He decides to go for a really weird roam. Makes no sense. I should just shove this immediately. Yep, good. Beautiful. Gets the tower there. We still see Cassidy and Yi top lane. A three man tower diving him, so I'm just gonna push for plates here in the wave. He even gets one for one, like that's so awful for them. He's Cassidy's missing XP mid. I'm gonna probably get this plate, and I've already shoved two waves so far. Cassidy decides to stay top lane and go for plates there as well, instead. That play that was way way better for us. <clears throat> I'm seven now. My laser one shots casters. Even though Jax misses a lot of uh, CS and XP top lane, Cassidy missed more middle. I pull the wave so it's going to slow push into me, and then I rotate to help Cassidy in case he shows up. Greg ends up going middle here. Not really sure why. I guess Ka they're potentially lane swapping. Cassidy's going to go top lane. I can't walk directly to the... Um, Minion wave there through the <clears throat> river bush, so I had to go the long way to be safe because if Gregus was there and anyone else was there, I'm dead or flashing. Weird. Gregus comes middle to shove one wave. That was weird. We have lost chapter in base. We have a lot of gold. We want to be looking to shove and recall here because we have way too much gold. I don't generally like recalling on non-cannon waves, but it's okay considering it's Cassidy and his wave clear's not the best. He can just shove it quickly with his ult. Okay, I'm actually gonna TP back instead. Okay, that's fine. That also is a good play. Since my TP will be up exactly when Unleash Teleport is up. That's actually a really good TP action. Never mind. Uh, was, I think that was the correct play what I did there. Bot's fighting a river. Pinged Cassidy was rotating, they get double killed. Yeah. Not much to do there. Bot lane not paying attention to the mid lane wave state, and then I recalled. We have laser upgrade, so we just want to perma shove Cassidy and now to try and deny him as much as possible while he's roaming. <laughs> and it makes it a little more difficult for him to see us in under tower. Good trade. I don't get it, says this rock. What are you doing? I don't get it, the mid has no prio and he's still rotated. He's down, what is that, 15 CS, 20 CS? I didn't really get a good look. The no Zoraka obviously didn't look that I recalled and was under tower there. <clears throat> but that's okay. We don't need to worry about him paying attention. But yeah, trying to get TPs off to lane to try- if you can get that 9 minute TP off, that's actually like really really good. Considering I do have, um, Futures Market. So, or sorry, not Futures, what am I saying? Uh, Cosmic Insight for the Summoner Spell cooldown. So if you have that, TPing at that 9 minute mark is very 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 good. Because that perfectly times it for when you want to look for TP plays around the map with Unleashed Teleport. Cast it in. He's going to take my Control Ward, but he's at least going to take Laser Poke. 
Greg should be dead here. Yeah, there it goes. Yi is currently Mia. Bot lane is shoved up, so they gotta watch out. They do have good vision, but you could just honestly alt run down mid lane. Or down bot lane, like through the lane. Cast it and recalling here. We just see him on the ward. By the way, wards like that are fantastic. Rotational wards against champions want to roam, and we actually get the backstop. That's amazing. So putting wards down there, directly in the middle of the lane, outside of tower range, you know exactly where the enemy is going to be going. So if you're playing against like a Talon or Kiana, any champion that really wants to roam, even Kassadin, putting those down, or even, uh, it's great against Twisted Fate as well, then you'll know what side of the map they're going on. Instead of having to ward one side of the map and then 50-50 guessing, you ward the middle of the lane, and you'll know exactly where they're going. Okay, he's dead here for sure. We stopped Kassadin's back there, I think it was like three times, which was really, really good. I have full crown and base here. Am I going to go Leandre's? Um, I don't, I don't know about Leandre's. Let me think about it. Uh, Gragas is going AP. I guess I'm worried about, like, I don't think Leandre's is the correct play if I had a good team, but I'm not confident in my team here. So I think going Leandre's is fine if I'm not confident in my team. Going crown here isn't bad at all, but it, since I'm planning on trying, I'm planning on just playing for me, doing my own thing, not feeling confident in my bot lane at all. Even though my Kha'Zix is doing well, I can't, again, rely on him in team fights to do a lot of the damage. You generally have to rely on your ADC, which I don't feel like the Caitlyn's great so far from what I've seen, or at least the Soraka isn't. Write it down, zone them off. We should get Drake here. Doesn't have smite, but a little spooky, but we're fine. Second Drake, a really good early second dragon. So we're stacking those Drakes very quickly. It is Cloud Soul, which is a little unfortunate for our team. And then Kha'Zix just ints. What is he doing? He saw him cast Herald middle. <clears throat> Jax is ping. Okay, we just mute all. Correct. We got the dragon already. We saw him spawn Harold there. There's no reason to be in river. Don't get jibated by your team. Everyone spam ping and just mute all. Don't get caught up in the fiestas with your team. It's generally not very good. Play your own game, farm, scale, and then win those team fights later. Only thing you need to worry about is if your team. That was a bad laser. Because I missed all the melees. Only thing you need to worry about is if your team's like hard inting early and. Even if you get to that scaled late game, it's, if it's going to matter at all, and if you're in that situation, if it's not going to matter because you're not going to make it there because your bot jungle and top are all just running it, then you do have to try and make some risky plays. That bad in terms of plays? I guess 20 seconds up on my TP, unleash teleport up in 7 seconds. Technically is at 1402 because it takes to... Yeah. yeah it takes to like 1402 uh, for you to actually be able to use the unleash teleport if you had it. Okay, we see Kha'Zix, good kill on Karma, Ziri, also dead for perfect. We just rotated down in case Cassidy was going to be roaming there. He could still be coming through Tribush. I don't have a ward or I would put one over the wall there to Raptor Pit. Yeah, at this kind of point, just perma shoving and looking for plays on the map is what you should be doing. Or if you see the person roaming. Uh, going for tower here is a little risky. Uh, okay, what the hell is he doing? He can't win. Um, I didn't have to burn flash there. I misplayed that. But yeah, Yi trying to... If a Yi ever fights you early, you just gravity field at your feet. He can't do any damage to you. I didn't have to, if I spaced properly there, I didn't have to burn my flash. I could have gotten my empowered auto just as meditate ended without having to flash there if I timed it properly. But yeah, Yi or like any kind of melee champion like that, you just pop your gravity field, stand in the middle of it, and just wait. And if they just keep running around waiting for gravity field to go away, then you just keep hammering on them until it's gone. That gives you like a solid four seconds of... Free damage. We TP bot lane to catch the wave. We see Kha'Zix. We look for the... Good gravity field. That should land. That's a dead. Ziri. Good. I don't have ulti, but I think that's still fine. TPing down there, we get to hold the tower and we get to catch the wave and then potentially get a kill, which we did. Or at least a takedown, not the kill. Because Kha'Zix got the kill. Cool. Literally one 
Oh, this is int. What am I doing? Uh, run. Phase rush. Oh my god. I'd literally die if I have any other rune than phase rush there. Wow, that was really that was decent. Bad from them thinking they could do that, I guess. I feel honestly, you no, know, not bad from them thinking they could do that. They should have been able to do that. I think Carmen has played that. I want to shove one more wave just so this crashes the tower so they can't hold a freeze, because we'd be down to dying ourselves a whole wave if we leave this. Even though they're probably not going to freeze because they're bad, you should expect them to freeze. It's not good to do the incorrect play just because you can think they're bad. We have ulti back up. We're finding a gravity field at our feet. Perfect. Phase rush, he's dead. Gragas is here. Ult the karma. Direct the ult back to Gragas. We get ulted. Oh my god, we get the Q shield off. Quadra kill. Wow. I don't think there's a chance in hell we kill Kassadin, but we're dead if... We got her slow on him. He flashes. Yeah. That was honestly the best thing we could have done there. The best way we could have played it against the Kassadin. And that team fight with the against the four of them was played pretty nicely. We ulted the Karma and immediately directed our ult to the Gregus after. Good spacing, good positioning, good ult usage. Being able to get that uh, Q off on Ziri was clutch as well. Also, Lich Bane second on Victor isn't awful. I think it's good if you're snowballing. I don't think it's generally a solid, like, locked-in second item every single game. But I do think it is a very good item, since it gives you that more ability haste than both Banshees and Zonyas would. But the only problem with that is you don't have enough AP amp on the Lich Bane auto passive, the Spellblade. It doesn't feel super relevant until you have, like, Death Cap or another item adding ability power to that. But it is good if you're snowballing. It's a very, very good early power spike. If you're looking for a good different damage item, Shadow Flame is also a very good one. If you want to go defensive, always Zonya's Banshee is an option. I am decently well farmed, have a decent amount of gold kills, we're pretty ahead. So we're just going to look for the Lich Bane to accelerate that play. TP's is up in 37 here, our Kha'Zix dies for no reason. At least we get the dragon. Okay, we grab blue buff here. We should grab Grump as well, and then potentially go middle. Oh, we see the ward over the wall. They know I'm here. I gotta worry about them stealing it potentially. We're fine. We see them diving, so I'm gonna rotate over. Ooh, this is a bit of an awkward position for me to be in. This is bad. Yeah, I'm just zoned off after the long way. I should have went the long way initially. Considering our Kha'Zix isn't there, I should have went the long way initially. I could have held tower. Because now tower goes down. Yeah. I think if I went the long way, I could have been able to actually laser and ult the wave to kill the whole wave before they get the tower. That was an incorrect rotation on my part. I thought I could land like a flank. I thought they would go for like a tower dive or something like that without zoning me off. And then I could land a really nice alt laser gravity field flank on them. Doesn't happen, but we have Lich Bane in base. Kha'Zix jumps in like a psychopath by himself. We want to back for our Lich Bane though. I canceled my recall just in case. That's not good. I just wasted another 12, 14, and another one. Uh, two backstops. I've wasted like almost 30 seconds now. At least I get enough gold with, for buying Lich Bane now without going into debt. That's the only plus side of staying there and farming that wave. So I don't waste the 50 gold from Futures Market. Okay, full Lich Bane. Should grab a control ward here. We are on Soul Point, even though it's Cloud Soul. Cloud's pretty good for our team. Cloud Soul's amazing on Jax and Kha'Zix. It's also really good on their team, but I think it, it's really nice for our team, considering they have a very run at you comp. They have a Yi, a Gragas, and a Kassadin, who all just want to run you down. So having that Cloud Soul boosted movement speed will help spacing amazingly. <clears throat> It'll help Soraka get out of pinches. Kha'Zix ult synergizes amazingly with it. And Jax ult, too. What am I looking for? Void? Okay. Why did I type it in here? I already have an item set. Kha'Zix flashes on Ziri, gets the kill. I should be bot lane here, honestly. I shouldn't be middle. I have TP. Caitlyn does not. It's better for me to be in the side lane than Caitlyn right now. I start rotating down now. Yi's a little overextended. That should be a dead... Yeah, it's a dead Yi. He's for sure dead. The only play he has is to kill Caitlyn here. He goes for Kha'Zix instead, though. It was actually pretty close. Soraka gets the kill. Hey, 
I spam ping Baron here. We just got the kill on Yi. We have a very strong team. A decently quick Baron take. With Kha'Zix isolation damage and Jax. And since I have Leandres, I also burn Baron very, very well. Control ward here. Okay, but uh, control ward, and we should start it immediately. Uh, go, 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 go. Start, 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 start. Wasting so much time here. I zone the Gragas off. I don't want to get him close to the pit. Q, laser, run directly on top of him. He phase rushes away. That's fine. Even though burning, I burn alt for him. I think that's okay. Oh, bad laser. I chunk the Gregus so he can't engage on their team at all. Flash the Karma root while Cassidy goes on me, but he's oom. This should be really good for us. Gregus is really, really low. His phase rush is on cooldown. Cassidy's oom. They're, yeah, they're screwed. And now we just take Baron again. Oh, Kha'Zix actually, that was actually really good from Kha'Zix. Him staying on Baron, not letting it uh, regen HP was very good. Do I? I think going for, let me just hit tab just to double check, but I'm pretty sure they had. Yeah, Yi's going wit's end. Zoning off the Gragas like that, I think was a fantastic play. Gragas Karma has Merc Tri I think the Void Staff's fine here. Gragas does also have a lot of HP, so the Leandris is benefiting really well from that Fimble Winter. So we zone him off with alts. He comes back in. I think going the Void Staff here is fine. Shadow Flame's another option, but I think, because they have Karma, but Void Staff is a cheaper item, and I think a better power spike. Considering the one I'm going to be like mostly hitting is the Yi and Cassidy. Yi's going to be running our ass down. 191 CS at 22 minutes. Not awful. Pretty good considering the amount of uh, fighting we've been doing. Just keep the minions barrened up here. Laser. But we don't want to int. Our whole team is in base. So there's no point in stepping up there while we have zero vision in their red side. We see Yi, Cassidy, and Gregus, so we're okay. Ziri Karma is not going to beat us at this point. Karma Ward's Dragon. Soul coming up very soon. We are wasting Baron a lot here. I think I should be bot lane. I think I should, should have shoved one more wave bot lane. Instead, I rotate down here to give Karma... Uh, or to give Soraka, sorry, uh, safe passage. I guess it's not awful. I should have shoved the lane first, though, and then I could have come here. Because then we would get more vision because our minion wave would be closer to their side. So we'd see if they'd enter the brush by the Krugs. Good laser on Gragas. Nice chunk. We should pull this out of the pit. We do not want to 50-50 smite this. It's not awful if they get it, but I mean, we miss it on Cloud Soul. Good secure from Kha'Zix. I'm going to head bot lane. My team can group middle here. We see a ward there. Oh, yeah. Blue buff first. My bad. Just about halfway to level 16. Our level 16 makes our team fighting significantly better. That that level 16 ultimate is so, so good. Okay, Jax is splitting, so we're just going to try and give some NYs there. What? He just stands there. Even though my laser hit him, he just stands there. That was actually really close, though. I genuinely didn't expect him to just stay. I thought he'd immediately start running around, which is why I face-checked the bush like that. Go for a really uh, spicy Magi's here and TP right back immediately. If I died there, I'm pretty sure Caitlyn kills the Yi, but it wouldn't have been great. Good gravity field. He's dead. Oh, I could have got casted in there if I had timed my laser better. Just tank the tower, doesn't matter. We have Soraka. We just run at them. Yep, perfect. This is how you abuse your lead. Don't let them... There's a there's a fine line between abusing your lead and inting. You obviously don't want to overstep. Like, that was... That kill on Yi was honestly lucky. The kill on Yi wasn't lucky. The almost... The living was lucky. The kill was for, for sure, because my ult will just follow him afterwards. But I should have died there, I think. Okay, yeah. This is good. We're fine here. We can just end. This is a little bit of a greedy end, but I think we can do it since we're this ahead. I have ulti up in two seconds. I'm fine to fight. Don't be scared to just mute all. You can unmute pings always if your team's just flaming you. And then if, the, if you want to keep pings muted, that's fine too. I appreciate you guys watching. If you do want to stop by my stream again, the link to that will be down below. Top damage, beautiful. Kha'Zix did a fair amount of damage there too. Thank you for watching, everybody. See you next time.